Howdy guys, uh, Royal Gorge F7402 here, and uh, it's official, I have trains, which is um, great, because, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be the way I was if it weren't for trains themselves, and uh, yeah, so if we look over here, um, I've had this for a few days now, so uh, there's tons of downloaded stuff, uh, so let's just start off with uh, the U.S. trains. Um, and yeah, um, sorry I've got Facebook running in the background, and I think my friend's trying to be annoying. Um, sorry, back to what we were doing. Um, uh, so yeah, let's see, what do I have here? First off, I've got the, uh, Amtrak Heritage Fleet. If you take a look here, this is the, uh, Phase one, one. I've got graphics on DirectX right now, so uh, the graphics get kind of blurry from certain angles, but it runs much faster and much better than uh, OpenGL. So um, yeah, so I've got all those Amtrak P42s that I downloaded, and then, uh, let's see, here's something I downloaded today: um, the entire Union Pacific Heritage Fleet. Uh, yeah. Um, for some reason, the ditch lights don't come on on these till uh, till I uh, sorry the lights don't come on till I start moving, so they aren't going to work right here in the display case sort of thing that you got. But it's still nice to look at. Uh, you see, you got those first lights, and then here you can sample the horn. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get to some videos of those thing of my. I'll try and get my whole uh, Union Pacific fleet out there. Oh, let me just show off this real quick. I downloaded this the other day. Um, Union Pacific Turbine number X18. And this is just the uh, cabbed unit, which isn't actually the turbine part. I don't know why I didn't know this earlier, but the uh, turbine actually had a turbine. I don't know why I didn't know that, but yeah. Rotating turbine engine back there. So, I will get some videos of a bunch of trains running. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I got my heritage fleet all set up with a thing of empty coal cars. And, uh, there are some things that I really do need to edit about these uh, locomotives. Mainly interior things, because the cab isn't right. But I do have a file for the right cab. And, uh, yeah, so as you can see, the ditch lights come on after I do the bell once. And they start to oscillate when I turn on the bell. And I don't know if that's prototypical for uh, Union Pacific. I don't even know about the heritage units, but I'm pretty sure it's not. The only time I've seen UP uh, 1995 was when it wasn't leading. It was uh, tagging behind some intermodal cars. I'll put that video in the link description. It's uh, my impression of... Uh, What's his face? Uh, the Trains and Hawks fan guy. So as you can see, it's not the prototypical um, heritage unit cab right here for the SD70 Ace, um, but I can deal with that. So let's just get her rolling. What I do like about this cab right here, though, is you can open up the windows like that. I thought that was a cool feature. So, uh, another cool thing about tr trains is that once you have industry set up with track around them, you can just na easily navigate to it, which I'm going to actually navigate to the mine so I can load up these coal cars. But, yeah, if we look here, got the coal cars right there, but then, uh, got this. It's looking pretty sweet. Let's put a free roaming camera right here. Watch it pass by. Yeah, since I'm sure you don't want to watch this whole trip, I will cut the video here and uh, start it back when I'm getting closer to the power station. So yeah, let's wait for it to go by, and yeah. <laughs> 